Hello and welcome. I'm Christine Lee with Seize Market and welcome to today's episode. We're, today's topic is millionaire mindset. So this is going to be something that actually weaves in and out of your life, your personal life, um, business. Every time you're at choice at a decision, a fork in the road, there's a way that you can look at things that's very different from how we're taught how we have been trained throughout life through schooling. And so I want to call it the millionaire mindset. And I'm going to talk about really one specific distinct um, way of looking at things that have to do with the millionaire mindset that's very different from the norm. So um, the first thing I want to point out is that someone who has a millionaire mindset really looks at any decision from a ROI standpoint, what do I mean by that? Return on investment. So what I mean is that it's looking at, okay, what can this do for me? Like the positive outcome versus, oh my gosh, what could go wrong? Which is gonna be more towards the feeling, the worry and the feeling. So coming from an ROI standpoint, what can it do for me? Versus, oh my gosh, how could this pretty much bury me in the sand, right? So I'm gonna go through three different decisions that are very common within our business that uh, you'll be familiar with and just apply those principles to it and look at it from both ways. So you can compare and contrast and be able to uh, recognize it, be more aware of it and use it to your benefit. Let it serve you well. All right. So scenario number one, hiring somebody. OK, so when you look at it, we talked about in our previous episode, there's different timings of when you can hire somebody. And it really all has to do with the return on investment potential. If you have the ROI opportunity, if you have the opportunities that will level you up to the next stage in your business, the next stage of income, prosperity, things that you can get done and you have a game plan and a roadmap for it and the safety nets in place, then guess what? It's going to work to hire them now versus later. Now, when it comes to, again, the decision of hiring, if you look at it from the standpoint of, oh, my gosh, what can go wrong? R gray, <coughs> gray cloud over my head. Look at all the reasons why I shouldn't hire. Look at all the reasons that other people are having trouble hiring. I should never hire anybody. I'm better on my own. OK, you can certainly find evidence and write a whole narrative in your head about why you shouldn't. Hello there. Uh, let's see. Oh, Gordon. Hello there. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and um, comment below and we will definitely um, address those as I'm going through this today. So as uh, I was using the hiring scenario as an example, if you're in the the feeling mindset, the the poor man's mindset of hiring, then you will never hire somebody because it will always be a cost to you. But if you look at this as an opportunity for, oh my gosh, how can I get this off my plate and I don't have to do this anymore? And then therefore I can do more with this. Then it becomes a positive thing. You're actually going towards a pleasure point of growing your business and being able to do more of what you love instead of being afraid of what it could cost you. And oh my gosh, what if I hire the wrong person? Oh my gosh, what if this doesn't happen? That doesn't happen. Those are always going to be there. So it's all about perspective. Now, the second part is marketing. I'm going to give you an example of ROI. So this is where I guess uh, maybe ego and um, versus practicality, practicality comes into place, right? So uh, this is a very simpleton example, but I'm going to apply it to this whole concept of the millionaire mindset of how you make decisions, ROI versus feeling. So there is a strategy <laughs> when it comes to open houses where, oh my gosh, I call it the ugly yellow signs. Okay. They're the ugliest little suckers out there. They're yellow. They're black. Literally, you can like handwrite permanent, um, you know, writing a uh, handwrite with a permanent marker, open house whatever, and like point an arrow to it. And let me tell you what those suckers produce. They are the ugliest, ugliest signs and things alive that you can possibly do for your business. But they are like the best, best traffic generating machines ever. We would literally have anywhere from like 50 to 100 people at our open houses when done right with like a very purposeful strategy in mind. And so the thing is, is that I've seen a lot of agents actually have hangups with this. They're like, oh my gosh, that's so ugly. I can't let that represent my business, you know? And so instead of looking at it from the standpoint of, oh my gosh, you could have like 50 to 100 people at your event versus, oh, I want to look pretty and have 12, right? Look at the mindset. Look at how that plays into the decision, even something as simple as signs for an event 
and how it applies to your business, right? It comes from a fear of looking good. Oh my gosh, I have to look good and I have to have this special presentation. And even though the sign is completely unpractical, I feel like, I think, right, that it looks good and therefore I will do that even though the results are complete black, okay? And the other side is millionaire mindset. Okay, what's gonna produce the results? What's practical? Oh my gosh, it's gonna have 10 times the results of being pretty? Well, let's go for it, man. And so this type of mindset can go from something as important as hiring to marketing decisions and what is practical and basing it on actual facts and evidence. Now, the third example is, I'm just gonna share a personal um, example that I made in my life, probably, you know, just ongoing basis, but one in particular, and people ask me, oh my gosh, you had your own brokerage, why did you make a decision to uh, switch over? And it's like, it was about the ROI. What is the value of being associated with top-minded, like-minded people? What is the value of having a mentor in place? And so when I was at choice, of going from either staying where I'm at, which was my own brokerage. And yeah, you know, that sounds great, but I mean, I was not attached to the name or the label or, you know, having a move that's going to associate me with top level talent and access to some great minds and great conversations on an ongoing, if not daily basis. To me, the knowledge, the experience, um, the opportunity to grow quicker and faster was way valuable than just sitting put and saying, oh my gosh, I can save all this. Guess what? It was a $20,000 decision, okay? And yes, I thought about it for just a brief moment, but did the math and I said, hey, I'm paying this anyways and this is what's holding me back. And if I break through this, man, it's gonna generate like multiple times that, which it did and I don't regret that decision for a moment. I would do it again in a heartbeat. But the mindset is, it's that, it's that millionaire mindset. It's the mindset of saying, okay, what am I gonna gain rather than, oh my gosh, what am I gonna lose? And so just be aware of how you're looking at things. Be aware of where you're coming from and how that's affecting your decision-making abilities and all the rest of the conversations that you have about your business, about your teammates, about your finances, about your relationships, because I promise you, wherever it shows up, it's showing up everywhere. It is bleeding through your life. So. What can you do about it? If it's not where you want to be, then you got to form a habit of putting it in check. Guess what? You've probably had this type of hard wiring, myself included, right? So I know exactly what that feels like when you're where you're coming from, of needing to reprogram your brain. It's like you've been working out a certain exercise for the last who knows how many decades, right? The wrong way. And now you're wanting to memorize and ingrain into your muscle memory a new form, um, a new way of doing things. It's not going to come overnight. It's not going to happen just like that. You're going to need probably a personal trainer to break you out of that habit, someone who's course correcting you very promptly and being very honest with you about it and not, not being shy or um, uh, you know stepping on any eggshells. And being surrounded in that type of environment is going to be the quickest way to get you out of that habit, out of that funk, and into a new pattern. And so you have to override everything that you have done so far and kind of get it down on the list, right? Make it sink to the bottom because you have so much other goodness stuff that's replacing it. And now you're having new goodies that's top of mind. So think about that as you run your business. Think about that as you have your conversations with your team or look to hire somebody or conversations with your loved ones. Look at where you're coming from. Look at where they're coming from and see if you can make a shift that's closer to a mindset of abundance and prosperity and oh, what is the opportunity here versus oh my gosh, how is this killing me? And you'll see shifts happening in your life and just more joy and happiness as you do the same things that you had to do anyways. And it'll be something that you get to do instead of something that you have to do and um, you'll it'll serve you for the rest of your life for sure. So if you want to have a if you're looking to grow your business and you want to surround yourself with high minded, like minded people and have the right vision systems and tools in place for you to succeed, because everything, whether it's a mindset, whether it's a hiring process, whether it's a marketing um, strategy, it all is wrapped around systems, habits and models. And why reinvent the wheel? 
why bump your head up against something that's not working? If you've been bumping your head up against uh, a result that you don't like, well, guess what? You found a way that doesn't work and you've proven that it doesn't work. So time to move on. Let's find a better way, a proven way, and skip all the sh um, the hassles, all the bumps and bru bruises, all the bloodshed of experimenting on yourself with models that you're not sure of. And why don't pick up something that you know that works? Find somebody that knows something that has proven to work. Lay it out for you. Don't reinvent the wheel so that you can have a business where you can make more while working less with less hassle. So if you want to have an honest conversation on how you can grow your business and have the freedom that you want, make more work less, then let's talk because that's what we do. We're known as the people who can put the systems and strategies in place for your business and help get you to where you want to be. So click on the link below. Let's see here. There is ah, seizethemarket.com slash talk. If you want to have an honest conversation on where your business is at now, and where you'd like to be and how to close that gap. Then go to seizethemarket.com slash talk. Pick a time, pick the times that are available for you. I know they're kind of booking up fast, but um, go ahead and grab yours now and then we'll chat at that time and see what we can do to map out a step-by-step -step, step -step game plan to get you to where you wanna be. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, have a great day, bye.